Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reviewing my G-Shock Rangeman. It's the Japanese edition. Um, actually, I had to import this from Japan. It uh, won't be found here in the uh, U.S. with the black band, all blacked out, with the black face. Uh, you can find this face in the green, but you cannot find it in the black. So, definitely had my eye on this watch for a while. Very good looking watch. It's very uh, durable, uh, very user friendly. Had this for, I'd say, over, over a year now. Some would say it's kind of hard to read. Um, I wouldn't say so. If you want to see your, see the time or whatnot, you'll see it. Just hit your light, if anything. Um, it's got a really cool feature. Or if you hold down a light button for three seconds, you see a LT uh, symbol down here in the corner. And basically, whenever you flip your watch like this, the light will come on so you can read it. So like if you were to lift your wrist to check the time, um, that backlight will come on for you. It does drain the battery though. If you do a lot of driving, it will continually come on. Um, the, uh, the band actually is the one that has the actual carbon fiber inside. I think I paid around 360 for this, somewhere around 330. Very strong, uh, heavy duty watch. Um, if you want to check the authentication on your watch, flip it over, and see if it's a true Japanese import. Let me see if I can get it to, to focus on the serial number here. See that J? right there that will only be found on the imported version yeah it is not wanting to focus guys yeah but it says B J No, it's not what that stands for. <laughs> stands for Japan. But yeah, it's got a crazy ass cat with a compass on his on his wrist. Let me show you some features real quick. Um, this one does sync with the atomic clock, like all G-Shock watches. Uh, you can do it manually or it'll do it when it's convenient for the watch. Um, usually tries to do it around midnight. It's when the signal's greatest. Alright, so this button on the side here actually lets you cycle through three sensors that are built into the watch. Let me get uh, the lighting right so you can see it. Okay, so baro, which is a barometer. Uh, bear with me, guys. You can see it actually graphs the bar at the top. See there's a little graph up there at the top? It tells you what the weather's doing as far as air pressure. It'll also give you the uh, temperature outside, then there's your inches vacuum and mercury. Okay, you hit it one more time. It's altimeter. Tell you how far you are above sea level. 
and uh, below that it's going to tell you the time hit it again and it brings it to the compass so it'll actually give you a compass reading There's like a little built-in compass in this uh, circular uh, dial here. Tells you where north is. It'll actually give you a degree if you can turn the watch. It'll tell you where you're pointing it, which is nice too. Other than that, um, it's got like five alarms, so you can set those. It'll also tell you when the sun is coming up. Okay, so this is the uh, sun up, sun down. The bottom one is going to be your Sunrise, sunset is a smaller one. This is a nice feature. Then you can also save readings that you've taken. It's really cool. A little recorded on your watch. Of course, it's got the stopwatch, all that good stuff. Um, as far as uh, quality, man, um, I don't think you can buy a better watch. Um, extremely impressed. Definitely worth the money. So if you get a chance to get one, get it. If you like this one, make sure it's a Japanese-only uh, import watch. And you'll be one of the only people, I've never seen anybody with one of these, this exact Japanese model, um, anywhere. So, check it out guys. Thanks for tuning in. Like the video, subscribe. I'll send some more your way.